today at the Jeffersonville Police Department, and not because I'm in trouble, so don't worry. Major Lynch is letting us come in to show you guys kind of what it's like as an officer on the field and what kind of decision-making processes you have to go through. So here in a minute, after he kind of tells you all about some of the stuff that I'm going to get to use, um, I'm going to go on the simulator and see how I would act or react to a situation that they might have to deal with on a daily basis. So thank you again for letting us be here. Oh, and thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're excited. So if you want to go ahead and kind of tell everybody what we got going on here today. Okay, what we've got is a uh, simulator. It's a use of force simulator that we've uh, purchased to help enhance our training for our officers. Uh, officers go through uh, very realistic scenarios on a lo very large screen. The screen is like size, mm -hmm. uh, so the people that they're interacting with on the video are, are life size. Uh, all the tools that one officer would have on duty, they have available in a simulated, um, in a simulated fashion. So they have a taser, flashlights, they have pepper spray. All this is there's nothing. It's just an eye, okay. infrared laser. We built it. Uh, awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, same thing with this. This is not a real taser. It's an infrared taser, but it, it's exactly the same feel to it. Same thing with the firearms. Our firearms, the simulator, have a CO2 cartridge, which makes it as realistic as possible uh, for the officers. And it's, it's an actual six hour P226 handgun, which is what the officers carry on duty. Okay. So to make the training as realistic as possible, um, we use this. And this um, use of force simulator has branching options so that the scenarios that we play, depending on the inter the, uh, the verbalization that the officer uses and what they do, what they say, uh, the instructor can change the scenario's outcome. So if they give the proper verbalization, we can have that person in the video comply. Okay. <clears throat> I can tell them if, put their hands up. Yeah. And okay. um, that way there are multiple outcomes to each video. So. Okay, good. It's interactive and it works great, uh, and we're actually going to get started with uh, some of the training next week. So okay. we're real excited about it. Cool. So I'm doing it before they're doing it. That's kind of cool. Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, All right. I guess we're going to get started. We're going to hit the lights here, and he'll get me all geared up. All right. Which one uh, should I use first? Well, we're just going to, because I don't have a duty belt for you to use, we're just going to I'm gonna give you the uh, simulated firearm. And folks, it is a uh, just a laser. There aren't any bullets. CO2 cartridge. Uh, so this is a simulated weapon. Do you feel okay with it? Yeah, I'm excited. As long as All right. Real. <laughs> so the scenario that you're going to be dispatched to is a suspicious person. Mm -hmm. It's a third party caller. Um, suspicious person. It's a white male with a cut off shirt and blue jeans. Uh, the caller advised that subject was looking into windows residences. Okay. okay. That's yeah, the only information yeah. that you have. Cool. All right, if you could hit the uh, window or the uh, lights. <clears throat> All right, once the scene gets going, you're up. Give verbal commands, talk to them as if you would any other person, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, here we go. Excuse me. What? What are you doing? What do you want? I'm not doing nothing. Just checking out. Just walking, man. What do you want? I'm just coming out here to see what you were asking. Awesome, man. You got something else better to do? What, man? You got a problem? Now look, I just live right over there. That's all. Oh! I would totally have died. All right. Officer down. <laughs> well, in this scenario, just because uh, you know, it was first time, with, I, I yeah. wanted to go ahead and we went with the uh, full scenario. And uh, had you been given, have an officer been given more verbal commands? Yeah, I don't know what kind of commands. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so let's cut her a break, okay? Uh, see. But there is options for him where he complies, he shows his ID, he, he pulls a knife, he pulls a gun, he oh, runs. Okay. So there's multiple options uh, for that scenario. But since it's your first time, I thought I'd break you in. Yeah. Like uh, sink or swim. Here you go. Yeah, no, but, I saw obviously it was Adam Elk and I'm over here and he's over there. So, yeah. so what do you think? That's kind of scary. I don't know. I feel like that would give you all a lot of pressure in a sense in the, in the moment. I guess you all know how to handle it obviously yeah. better than I do. But Well, yeah. how do you feel? Uh, 
far as the force option, when did you think that you obviously did fire? Yeah, when he went behind his back and kind of like made you nervous. Yeah, I mean, like it's a, a split yeah. second reaction in a sense. Like you have to. Yeah, and one thing that we have to express and teach to our officers is that action is quicker than reaction. Mm -hmm. So when he reaches back and gets that gun, if he's got a gun in his hand, at that point, uh, he's got the drop on you. So, um, now not all the situations are lethal force situations, but since we have a limited time, I wanted to, like you I said, to tell you out there, other than... I mean, we'll work on the marksmanship. Other than that, I thought you did pretty well. Yeah. Um, you didn't have so, a holster, so it was easy yeah, to like, ready to like, go. But, uh, okay, so why don't you do it and show us how, like, when you really talk to him, how you would respond in a situation. Okay. Does that work? Because clearly I have no... You want me to do the same scenario or you want me to do a different one? Let's do the same one and see how, like, he complies with you, like, how... Well, you it's going to be difficult because this has branching options. Uh-huh. And I would need an instructor, too. To oh, go yeah, through the system. Things. So, I mean, uh, there's one that one. has that doesn't have any branching options. Okay. And we can. I'll hit the lights. Talk about it. Okay. So in this so, scenario. So let's tell them for those that are just joined in, because yeah, we yeah. have some people that just joined in. Let's tell them. Okay. what it is we're doing so they know. So we're at the Jeffersonville Police Department and we're kind of doing a use of force simulator. And I'm sure you can give them more in depth of it. Yeah. But the use of force simulator allows us to put officers through a, uh, a real time use of force, uh, somewhat of a video game, but it, it's interactive. The officers uh, will be given a dispatch of what the situation is. Then when we hit play, we have 450 different scenarios, uh, that have different outcomes. There's branching options, and it is a use of force training tool. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these scenarios, if the officer gives a proper verbalization, proper verbal commands, we can end the scenario uh, where the subject complies. Uh, if there is issues, or maybe the objective of that training is to see how they'll react under stress, we can amp up the stress by making the subject pull a weapon, a knife, a gun, or run. So there's a lot of different things that can happen. Is some of them, there aren't any branching options. Right. And uh, for this scenario, you asked for me to go uh, through it. I'm gonna run through it real quick. Yeah, and see how This one doesn't different. have any branching options. Um, Unfortunately, I know how, how the how scenario is going to go, but okay. to kind of give you an idea how quick things can yeah. uh, escalate. For this scenario, this uh, is a burglary in progress, but we don't always know that. So the dispatch that I would give an officer is there's a suspicious person um, looking into the windows or the, around the door of, you know, one, two, three Main Street. Okay. okay. So that's kind of the general information we would give an officer. So the scenario is going to start. As if the officer is approaching the residence or someone there at that point, uh, you know, Ray, I'll be 10 6, I'll be out on a subject uh, in front of this residence, white male. Sir, keep your hands up, step away from the weapon. Sir, step away from the weapon. Do not grab the weapon. Ray, up, shots fired, subject's down, and we would also teach them to talk about giving the verbalization to the radio, get you back up there. At that point, we move to cover. Uh, call an ambulance. There's a lot of things that would happen at that point, but you see how quickly that evolved. Right. For those of you at home, the subject was breaking into a uh, residence. When he turned, he dropped a weapon. Slowly, was getting closer to that weapon. And at that point, that is a you know, if he's reaching for that gun, it's a lethal force situation. So, um, it doesn't have any branching options. It's kind of a quick, simple scenario. But I want to give you an idea of what this training tool will provide. Again, most of the scenarios are not all lethal force situations. Right. Most of them can be resolved verbalization uh, or other options, but uh, this is just a, uh, another training tool that we have. Yeah, well that is awesome. And thank you all for keeping our community safe and taking these measures to do what you can. And um, so thanks again, and we hope to come back all the time to the Jeffersonville Police Department because they do awesome things for us. And don't forget to like them on Facebook and now they have a Twitter, so follow them so you can have updates what's going on around the community if there's road closures or anything happening that you need to be aware of because with Twitter it's a lot faster these days than the news can produce. So thank you again and uh, thank you all for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.